This is from House Resolution 414, recognizing that the United States has a moral and legal obligation to provide reparations for the enslavement of Africans and its lasting harm on the lives of millions of black people in the United States. Sponsor, Representative Bush, and here I go. I repeat, recognizing that the United States has a moral and legal obligation to provide reparations for the enslavement of Africans and its lasting harm on the lives of millions of black people in the United States. The sponsor is Representative Bush, Corey, Democrat, Missouri, yes. Miss Bush for herself, Miss Lee of California, Miss Talib, oh, oh Miss Talib, Miss Presley, Mr. Bowman, Mr. No, Mrs. Ramirez, Ms. Lee of Pennsylvania, Ms. Omar, Mr. Jackson of Illinois, and Mr. Green of Texas submitted the following resolution, which was referred to the Committee of the Judiciary. And since they said it a third time, I will repeat it again. Recognizing that the United States has a moral and legal obligation to provide reparations for the enslavement of Africans and its lasting harm on the lives of millions of people, black people in the United States. Whereas black people are and have always been human beings, Yet the federal government has historically failed to recognize our dignity and humanity. Whereas reparations are defined as a victim-centered process by which survivors of atrocities and serious human rights violations and their descendants have the right to seek restitution, compensation, rehabilitation, satisfaction and guarantee of non-repetition for past and ongoing harm. Whereas to meet the international legal obligation of repar reparations, the federal government must compensate descendants of enslaved black people and people of African descent in the United States to account for the harms of chattel slavery the cumulative damages of enslavement and the epics of legal and de facto segregation. Whereas the federal government is responsible for, number one, policies that led to the economic, political, and social erosion of black communities, two, failing to keep black people safe from or actively sanctioning white domestic terrorism and failing to prosecute it when it occurred. Number three, the impacts of government imposed segregation leading to harmful health outcomes and environmental racisms. Number four, the ongoing harms of racialized mass incarceration and family separation, oppressive and abusive criminalization, and the continued impact of embattled historical harms of the criminal legal system on black people and black communities, and number five, banking, consumer, housing, health, education, and employment discrimination. Whereas reparations must be administered by the federal government to descendants 
of enslaved black people and people of African descent for sanctioning the kidnapping and trafficking of human beings, creating and maintaining a violent racial hierarchy, embedding slavery and other methods of economic exploitation into the fabric of society, and emboldening white supremacy with legal, social, and economic tools of control.